Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's March 30th. Uh, the stay at home order has been extended to May 1st. Um, we've already been on the stay at home order, I think for two weeks. Um, people are still dying from coronavirus. There were seven deaths in the county. Six of them were elderly people with underlying health conditions. They all had, they were all either super old or had uh, health, underlying health conditions. But um, there, there are doctors that are saying that perfectly healthy people are getting coronavirus and dying. So that's kind of scary. I'm not even really scared of that because I don't, I rarely ever get sick. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's because of the diet that I follow. Um, but the thing that's scary is that the whole world is pretty much, well, the, the whole US and Italy and a lot of other countries, Australia are on, on complete lockdown. And that's what's scary because for the entire world to pause and like make, allow, like, cause this kind of financial crisis because it is going to be a massive financial crisis to so many people. Um, that's what's scary, that the government is reacting the way that they're acting. That's what's scary to me, um, which leads me to believe that there's a lot they don't know about the virus and, and there's stuff that they know that probably we don't. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, today is... Uh, World Bipolar Day. Um, so, yeah, I mean, about my day, I really didn't get anything done today. We watched a movie called It's a Disaster. Super funny. Um, check it out. It's on Hulu. Uh, I played guitar. I got some calluses on my finger from that. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I did today. I took a two-hour nap. I'm pretty bummed out um, that we can't really go anywhere or do anything. I definitely have cabin fever. It's definitely affecting my mental health. I can imagine that it's not affecting everyone. Um, but anyway, it is World Bipolar Day. Um, so since I am bipolar and that's mostly what this channel is about, um, I found a really cool article that I wanted to share with you guys and I'll put the link down below it's like a super quick read but um shoot i lost the article world. oh i know why world bipolar day sorry okay so celebrated every march 30th world bipolar day is a worldwide awareness initiative to isbd I don't know what that means, um, in conjunction with the Asian Network of Bipolar Disorder and the International Bipolar Foundation. Um, but anyway, I found this really cool article talking about seven reasons why Bipolar Day is important. Um, and it was, it, I found it really cool. It's from Mental Health America. Um, so I'll just go through the reasons with you. So number one, bipolar disorder affects every aspect aspect of life. If you have bipolar disorder, I think we can all agree that that is true. Um, I was thinking about earlier today when after my third episode, I was living in Santa Monica by myself and I was trying to date online, which is already super difficult when you're over 30. Um, because a lot, of, a lot of people that you're meeting around your age want kids and are just like, it, it, especially in LA, there's so many weirdos. Um, but I remember dating this guy that I liked and I remember feeling so like I was keeping a secret from him. Like, like I felt like, God, this guy doesn't even know how sick I am or like, I can't really have a relationship with this guy because how am I ever going to tell him I'm bipolar? Um, you know, and I, this was at a point where I still hadn't even fully accepted my disease and I still, I just felt so guilty for having those breakdowns, like I blamed myself. Um, but anyway, it says maybe difficult to fully comprehend the toll bipolar can take on someone because it is an invisible illness. Oh, totally. Nobody, nobody would know. 
In fact, people used to tell me, oh, you always look so, you're always so put together. And it's like, dude, little do you know, like, I have a rap sheet, like, I've been in jail multiple times, like, I go fully psychotic. Um, and then bipolar disorder has many causes from genetics to life events. So I basically what this says is, is they don't really know what causes it. They think it can be genetic, um, but they, so it says that they did a nearly two decade, decade study from the University of Michigan. There is no single genetic change, life event, or chemical brain imbalance that could be the root cause of bipolar disorder. Um, so I, I, like I said, I've said before on this channel, I think that it's could 1 million percent be caused by life events. That doesn't mean that I don't think it's a major decision to try and have a kid when you have a severe mental illness like bipolar or schizophrenia. I mean, I saw a girl, uh, it was like on 90 Day Fiance, she had Tourette's and she was freaking out about having a kid because she didn't want her kid to have to go through. And she had a very mild uh, case of it. But I think that any person considering having a kid on their own should be responsible and think about the risk reward. Um, I'm a big believer in adoption. I think that people should really consider that. There are a lot of babies out there that don't have families. There are a lot of eight-year-olds and 10-year-olds whose parents have been abusive or shot themselves or God only knows that bounce from foster home to foster home and never actually find a family. Um, so that's my take. I actually, when I was about eight years old, I had a neighbor who, I, there were some, there was a couple that lived next door and, um, they got a little girl all of a sudden my age and I remember played with her for a few weeks and we had so much fun and then one day she was just gone and I asked you know my parents like what happened to her and they said oh well she was a foster kid and you know it was only temporary sometimes people you know they get foster kids and they decide they maybe that wasn't the right decision for them so um yeah it really blew my mind and at that point in my life I decided if I ever did have kids I would adopt. I would never have have my own children. That's just my personal viewpoint. I don't think everyone should live that way. Some people really want to have their own kids for whatever reason, and they have every right. Um, it's a big task taking on a kid with problems, but you have no guarantee that if you have your own, they're not going to have a million problems. Um, so this I found really important. It says bipolar disorder rarely exists alone. Um, I thought that that was really interesting. Um, I've had multiple other things like anxiety, um, eating disorder, uh, what else has there been? Just that really, eating disorder, anxiety, anger, anger is a big one. Um, I remember when I was like 20, I had a fight, 22, 23, 24 maybe. I had a fight with my boyfriend at the time. We were in the car driving back from my parents' house and he said something and I socked him in the face. And I was so ashamed of myself and I felt so that I couldn't control myself. And this has happened since I've never, I haven't hit, punched my husband or anything, but I've thrown things. Um, I got pissed off and, and threw something a couple months ago and I broke the glass closet door like I cracked it. Um, and I just felt horrible about myself. I felt like, what is wrong with me? Like, I hate being this way. I remember feeling like I hate being this way. Like, why do I have to be this way? Why do I have to get so angry that I can't control myself? Um, so yeah. Um, and then for number four, everyone's bipolar disorder is different. This I knew, but the way they explained it is really, really helpful. They say bipolar disorder is like fingerprints and snowflakes, that they are that different. Um, no two people have the exact same symptoms and each diagnosis can vary greatly. However, there are two main types, bipolar one and bipolar two. Bipolar one, you guys probably already know this, characterized by one or more manic episodes that last at least a week and require hospitalization. And bipolar two, which is characterized by more depressive episodes. Um, true, you know, luckily I haven't had a whole lot of depressive episodes, but I did have a span of about three years straight where I wanted to kill myself every single day. I had a plan. I was... 
completely miserable. Um, and it was after my third episode when I had to go back to work with a bunch of people who had watched me lose my mind and show up at my job and be oddly dressed or saying odd things to my coworkers, just super humiliating. And then I know that this is a longer video today, but um, there are many celebrities that live with bipolar. This I really got it. I know it's sad to get it. It's not right to get excited about someone else being sick, but it makes me feel less odd and different when I hear about certain celebrities who have this. And actually, if you guys are interested, I'll put it in the link in the description. Um, Demi Lovato talks about it in a documentary that she did. Um, Demi Lovato is bipolar, Richard Drivers, Mary Lambert. Um, there's a whole bunch of celebrities that have it. But here's something really interesting. World Bipolar Day is actually on Van Gogh's birthday. Um, because he was bipolar. Um, and like Van Gogh, like he's amazing. How amazing is that? And it says there may be a creativity connection, which I think I've talked to you guys about before. Bipolar people are typically more creative. They paint, do art, whatever they do. Um, you know, music, they, they they write, it's just typically more creative. Um, not saying that every single bipolar person is, but it's, it's a trait. Um, Carrie Fisher was also bipolar. Um, she worked to fight against the stigma of bipolar. And this is the most important one. It is life-threatening, and I've said this report before, and, su uh, and support is vital, um, which is really sad because usually when we go manic and we have like a fully psychotic episode, that's when people pull away from us the most. And that's when we need people the most. Um, so that really sucks. And then it says an estimated one in five people diagnosed with bipolar dies by suicide. Did you guys know that? That's insane. Like, that means that one out of five people who go to the doctor and, well, maybe they're undiagnosed too, but no, one in five people diagnosed. That means people that have gone to the doctor and been diagnosed with bipolar disorder end up killing themselves. That should tell you something about our medical community that we have to deal with. Um, but yeah, so I really found this article helpful. I will put the link down below. I'll also look for that um, Demi Lovato link. You guys can probably Google it, but I'll just put it down there if you're interested. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's what happened today. I took a two hour nap, nothing really exciting. I didn't get much done at all. And this guy has been being a pain in the butt and barking all day long because one of the neighbors is moving out and they did some really weird stuff. They just moved in a few months ago and they were like wheeling stuff out in plastic bags and stuff. So I don't know, people are reacting really weird to this thing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, please subscribe if you are not already subscribed. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. You're awesome. And uh, I hope to talk at you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great night. See you later. Bye.